Hey kids, so today I'm going to show you how to do some of the textures I showed you in the previous video with the palette knives, but how to do them using things that you have at home. So these are plastic utensils and we're going to try and use this with acrylic paints to create some of the textures that we saw in the previous video of the palette knives. So let's start. Let's take our knives um, and very similar you can do the scrunching method, the scrambling method that I told you. So just put a little bit of paint and you can go around in circles. And the beauty of this, as you can see, is actually the textures that are coming because of the knife's edge. Let's add another color. Let's add a bit of white. And leave these. These look stunning. Okay, try not to blend these. These textures actually give the painting a lot more life. Um, and they're fun. And there you go. Just using a simple knife. Cool. So let's create the second one. But this time we're going to use the back of the knife um, to create lines. So we dip them. And just hold it. A little bit at an angle. There you go. And I use this to make waves. I use this to usually do the sea. Pretty cool, huh? So let's make another one where we use the, the knife left and right and try to create uh, a fun texture here. So I'm going to take a bit of purple. I'm going to take a bit of white and go crazy, all right? Try not to go over it. So try not to go constantly over it. Just place the paint and play with it and keep moving across the paper, across the canvas, you know. And look at the funky stuff that you have. I'm going to add a bit of purple or pink, sorry, in there. Ooh, a little bit of blue came in. Why not? See? Cool stuff, huh? Okay, so um, I've showed you the scrambling, I've showed you lines, I've showed you cool ways of doing this. But what if um, you want to use this part, the serrated part, right? So let's place some beautiful blue thickly. All right, wipe your knife clean with baby, uh, baby wipes and then look. You can even use the tip. See that? How cool is that? Okay. What if we place the paint and then use our forks to create some designs? ways of doing textures. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the spoon, all right? So you dip it, a lot of it in paint, and this is really good to make flowers, all right? Place it. Can you see? Beautiful petal. There you go. Ooh. Lovely. And then we can take our little fork, take some pink, just dab it. Add a little bit of white. Very simple, very easy, full of textures. And start to play around and create more flowers and see what you'll end up with. And these are also lovely ways of creating leaves 
um, using the spoon. Don't forget to tag us on all your work at Artisar. Take care. Bye.